Welcome to Education Research Using CU's Library. If you haven't watched the Library Orientation or Digital Services videos, I recommend watching them first. This video will cover where to search the library, how to search the library, and help with citations for your sources. Let's start with where to search. We'll cover three options, Primo, Library Databases, and Websites. Primo is the library search tool and catalog. Choose Primo when you only need a few journal articles, need children's books or classroom textbooks, or are looking for curriculum materials or need a specific journal title. For scholarly journal articles, use the peer-reviewed and content type filters in Primo. For children's or young adult fiction and nonfiction, filter by juvenile options under the format filter. To find only print books in the curriculum collection on campus, choose CUW Curriculum under the Location filter. To find a specific journal, use the eJournal search to find the journal title, then use the options to locate the year, volume, and issue you need. Education databases are another place to search. Choose these for literature reviews, when you need a case study or research report, or for classroom content for students, which you can filter by grade level or Lexile reading level. For scholarly articles, filter your results by peer review and publication date based on assignment requirements. Then consider filters by grade or education level. The document type filter can help you find research reports or case studies. Finally, be sure to check where the research is from and the item details Websites are another great source for information about curriculum standards, lesson plan ideas, and state laws and licensing requirements. Check the Education Subject Guide for links to websites on these topics. Course and program-specific guides for children's literature, special education, and child and family life also have websites listed. What's the best way to search library tools? It may be tempting to type your whole research question into the search box, but don't. Library tools use keywords with connectors. Let's look at an example. To search for this topic, we need to identify the main ideas and then come up with words or phrases for each of them to search with. The first idea is teaching methods. That's a pretty good keyword, but we could also try instruction methods or teaching strategies. Put keyword phrases inside quotation marks to keep words together, and consider using an asterisk at the end of the word to search for multiple endings of the word. The second idea is our subject area reading. That's a pretty good keyword, but we could also try literacy or language arts. The last idea for this topic is our grade level kindergarten. We only want articles about K-5, but early childhood education might be okay too. Now you're ready to search. In a single search box, add your keyword phrases for each idea, then connect them with AND in all caps. However, it's easier to use the advanced search in most databases or Primo and enter one idea or keyword per box. The connectors are already built into the search. For the most filter options, try the EBSCO database ERIC from the U.S. Department of Education. Not sure which database to use? Click on Research Guides on the Library tab in Portal. From the home page, click on Databases by Subject or Subjects and Courses to find which databases are recommended for your course or program. Now you're ready to cite your sources, most likely in APA 7th edition. The good news is that Primo and most databases have built-in citation tools. But remember that these citations are made by computers, who do make mistakes. Luckily, our Citation Help page has an APA-style guide to help you check those computer-generated citations as well as format your assignments, as well as information about Zotero, a software program we recommend for longer references lists. Good luck with your assignments and let us know if you have any questions. You can reach a librarian through chat, phone, or ask a librarian our popular email form.